Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the ZMAM Show. I hope everybody is staying safe with the C19 virus out there and whatnot. I hope you guys are taking all the precautions and doing well. Tonight, we're talking The Walking Dead, Season 10, Episode 14, Look at the Flowers. And, you know, this episode was pretty packed with a bunch of interesting things going on and even a, kind of a ghostly presence of Alpha haunting Carol, which I personally like because that's kind of what I do in my short series. But anyways, there's a lot of great things, so let's just kind of talk some of the highlights and see if you guys like tonight's episode. And so first off, let's just talk about Negan getting kind of schooled by Carol. So we finally get some background to see what happened and, you know, uh, this, this little silent deal that went down between Carol and Negan, right? And so it seems Carol was basically making a silent pact or basically saying, hey, Negan, you do this for me, and then I'll vouch for you so you can start a new chapter in your life here in Alexandria, basically, and have people start trusting uh, him again, I guess, if that could ever really happen. I mean, maybe to a certain extent, but really, I mean, the things he's done, that's pretty hardcore. But when it's all said and done, he's done the deal, and she's talking about, like, what took you so long and this and that. Now, mind you, maybe Negan could have had a couple of chances to do this before, you know, uh, Alpha unleashed her hell on Hilltop. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, like he said to both Carol and Daryl, I mean, this wasn't exactly just some, like, half-cocked, random-ass event he was trying to do. He was trying trying to um, commit an assassination, pretty much. And that cannot just be done randomly, especially if he wants to get out alive. And basically, he did it the best way so that he was singled out with her, her and, and took her out. Now, I'm trying to think back to, well, what about the time when you guys had sex and whatever? You couldn't have killed her then? Yeah, probably could have, but hey, I guess then the, the storytelling would have got cut short and there's a lot of cool things and scenes that we would not have gotten out of the show. So, you know, with that said, this is how it went down and pretty wild. So Carol heads off into the, you know, the valley basically to be alone and have some alone time, which we're going to talk to in a sec, and Negan goes back to find Lydia when she's not there and then gets caught off guard by Daryl. So we'll get to that also in a sec. So let's talk about Carol and her... I guess her uh, ramblings in her brain of the ghostly alpha as she's kind of basically tormenting Carol as she's on this little journey to kind of find herself. And the big, biggest takeaways I was trying to figure out is what does Carol really want? I mean, I figured it was just revenge, but why am I getting the idea that it's something more than that, which I'm not even so sure that was fully exposed in this episode. I mean, uh, Alpha just kept hitting on it and hitting on it as we went along, and then Carol made that dumbass move where she was pulling at something, but she never really quite found out what she was tugging at, but gets trapped under that and finally comes to, and she's like, I'm not ready to die, and decides to kill that zombie before it gets her. So that's all well and good, but, you know, I think if this proves anything to us is, you know, revenge is not as fulfilling as one would think, and... I mean, this is even an eye-opener kind of for me because, you know, when you think about if somebody did something terribly bad to you, like maybe you killed a family member or this or that, just because wishing them dead or trying to hurt them or whatever it isn't going to make your life better. And I know that's why a lot of people try to forgive and that's their way of mending things. I, I can't say I fully agree, but, you know, this is this is an eye-opener to, to see how even getting your revenge is not always so fulfilling. So that was kind of kind of neat to see and that Carol is still tormented. And by the end, she ends up uh, going back to Alexandria, as we see at the end of the episode, which, you know, she kind of walks past Daryl. You know, obviously there wasn't much to say, so I don't know what, what we could have gotten out of conversation-wise with Daryl. But, um, except that he acknowledged that she was there, and I guess she's going to have to come She's gonna have to come clean about what she did, and they're going to have to decide whether to accept her back or whatnot. I'm, it's going to be very interesting to see how this one plays out. I'm not exactly sure what I would do. I mean... She is responsible for many people's deaths. I mean, true, Alpha's dead, but as we can see, Beta's in the background kind of pulling his shit together, and we might as well talk about that. So Beta makes his way. He finds the, the uh, head on the spit, you know, on the, on the, on the pike, pretty much, out in the fields, and the one guy says, you're the new Alpha, and Beta wasn't having it. It's like he didn't even want it. He still respected Alpha's rule, even though she's turned. It's just an extension of Alpha, right? And um, it basically pushes the dude up against her. And at first I was like, oh, well, he's gonna let up, right? <laughs> no, he didn't let up. He pushed that guy's head all the way up so that the dead Alpha's head, he'd go ahead and have a little munching snack there and the dude, you know, obviously infected, whatever. Uh, they, they walk into a city area, which it looks like, I don't know if this is a, a, maybe a, a place where Beta hung out for a while or maybe he was staying or maybe it was like a studio. But it looked like he had a guitar, it had a bed cot, and some other stuff. So he looked familiar to it. I mean, it looked like Alpha was trying to lead him there. But, I mean, clearly he's leading himself there. And, um, you know, that guy that was sick, he even went and, he had a chance to go take out that zombie that was heading towards Beta. And 
they didn't have it. He stuck the dude, and then the dude dropped and let the zombie eat him. I'm just like, wow, man, this dude is just crooked as hell. Beta, that is. And Beta gets inside, he sees his record, you know, on the thing, and he destroys his guitar. Again, he's conflicted with his old life, and he, I think he, he kind of realizes that, man, is, is it over? You know, is, is our journey over? And maybe just in a small sense. But then he, he realizes, and he says, now I see, right? There was that key... Uh, line that he says towards the end where basically he sticks the knife into Alpha's head killing her by the way great stuff on Alpha's head being carried around like this little token baby type thing uh, that was pretty neat but yeah he stabs her and then emerges with a half mask pretty much uh, I, I can't remember who tore off his mask or half of his mask but it was that um Gamma, I think it did that. I think it was, but either way, uh, basically he has combined it with Alpha's face. So I mean, he's he's definitely taking it on. We see some scenes for the next, uh, uh, well, what that's coming up, I think, in the episodes. A huge, 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 huge horde of zombies, and he's talking about uh, getting his little gatherer people, or whatever, and uh, who are basically going to start migrating these hordes. Oh boy, we'll have to see where this goes. Uh, I knew this dude was menacing, and now that he's been fully unleashed. Watch out, it's not over. The Whispers are not done just yet. So I'll be curious to see where that goes. Uh, let's talk about, let me see here. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about uh, Yumiko and the way we had Ezekiel and then uh, Eugene basically going on their trip, right? To go find Stephanie. And that was a little awkward, I will admit, you know, with uh, Eugene, and not awkward in the show, but just awkward for Eugene having to admit that he had been talking with somebody outside of the colony and they they have valid points. I mean, they all start attacking him immediately. Like, you know, Eugene, what are you thinking? You can't be gullible like that. It's all valid points, really. Uh, I kind of felt bad for Eugene because you can see he was just kind of clamored up and he was totally being attacked. And he didn't get super defensive. He was just trying to figure it out. And luckily, the, you see, that's the leadership of Ezekiel. He calmed everybody down in the room and he let Eugene have his say. And I think that he's just a great leader. You know, it is a damn shame Ezekiel is sick. I mean, obviously his time is probably limited on the show unless they can find some kind of help for him or cure. I highly doubt that's gonna happen, but it's just, it was awesome to see him just shut that room down and just be like, no, let the man speak. I have questions too, but let's get to it. Anyways, fast forward, fast forward. They get on the road. They find this interesting zombie trap on the road. Poor Ezekiel lost his horse. You know, I think they had a long history together. He got bit because Ezekiel wasn't strong enough to fend off those zombies fast enough. We didn't see it fully on screen, but he did. He had to put his own horse down. That was sad, of course. Um, and for him, so now he's riding with, the, I think, Yumiko as they head into the city. And I couldn't tell what city that was. If you guys know what city that was, do mention that for me. I, I'm almost forgetting exactly what st state they're in at this moment. So help me out. Get me regrounded, peeps. Uh, it's, there's a lot going on in the show. And uh, as they make it in, we see all this kind of zombie, not cosplay, it's not cosplay, but it's like dress up and shop, whatever. You got the people in the shop with their cops and stuff. And then you saw the, the, the police officer with the chained up and she had like the, the ticket book, you know, and the guy and the person or whatever uh zombie in the car you know, looking like they're driving the car and ezekiel just loses his shit i mean he just starts laughing and i'm like oh boy keep it together guy and then just moments later this woman in this fuzzy pink outfit which i only just recently learned about who this character was uh it's the princess and or princess whatever you want to call it and so i don't know much more than pretty much that which is good i don't really want to know i love being kind of surprised by the show i like how they deviated from the comics some and I just, I'm curious, but I hear she's quite a character. I, I don't know why, I just hear that she is a character. So I don't know if good or bad, or if she's gonna turn on this or that, but it will be interesting to see, again, how this all plays out. Uh, I think they're doing a good job with the show, keeping us interested, especially if they're gonna be moving into a season 11. Uh, don't forget also that the last episode, episode 16, so that's not gonna be this, the next one coming in next week, this the final one, has been postponed because due to uh, post-production, they said they need at least three weeks to finish everything up. I was so surprised by this, which I want to thank R. Flett, who always comments on my videos for mentioning um, that he had found this, I think on one of the BBC networks or this or that, but our UK Daily Mail, something like that. But either way, they had mentioned that it had been postponed. I was so surprised. I thought that they would have been long done, long done, excuse me, with, uh, with season 10 and fully moved into season 11 by now. But clearly this is not how it's going down. And God, I'm wondering how production is going to even work now with season 11 and other things going on just now that this virus has kind of taken over our entire world. Not exactly the zombie virus, but um, in fact, I saw this cool meme the other day a friend sent and uh, basically said something along the lines like, um, you know, I expected zombies from this virus or something. Like, this one sucks or this virus sucks. Anyways, it was just kind of funny because it was like, yeah, 
But uh, yeah, an apocalypse is not a good thing, guys. You may think it's interesting, but these run on the stores and everything else that's been going on, toilet paper, uh, disinfectants. I mean, I was just going online to look for like Clorox wipes, not to get crazy. I just want a couple extra ones just to keep around the house. Yeah, can't find them. Or if you can get them from a couple sites at like, you know, $18 for a set of 75, I'm like, I'm not paying that. That's stupid. We'll, we'll use soap, we'll use water. Anyways, I know everyone's got their own opinion about this, but I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you are taking it seriously because there's a lot of things going on. We're here in St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri's kind of ramping up in cases, so hopefully that uh, gets squashed before long. But uh, anyway, I hope you all are doing well. And um, yeah, I don't kind of ramble on a little bit. There's a lot of things going on. I'm still working on Dead Nightmare. For those of you who are stuck into the video this long, thanks so much. And for watching, Dead Nightmare is getting worked on, and I hope to get it completed. I'm going to say by early May. It was supposed to be by mid-April, and now it's getting pushed off again. There's just there's work's busy, and there's a lot of things going on. So hope you guys can be patient with me as I work on this episode 7. I'm also going to try and figure out how I want to release it. If I want to do it in like little small episodic like 10-minute sections, or just release the whole shabam, because I think it's going to be like a 45 to... 55 minute episode, which is good for everybody who's been waiting, but uh, you know, it's kind of hard when you wait like almost a year for one of these and then it just comes out and it's like, oh, okay, that's it. So maybe I'll try to do a timed release and then maybe combine them all at the end and just do a full episode in case people want to come back and watch. But there's some fun stuff. I just downloaded some extra effects and some things that should make things a little bit more gory, bloody, and just some other fun stuff too. So with that said, it was a wonderful episode tonight. I'm giving it a solid 8.5 for tonight. I give it a little bump over a few of the previous episodes I've rated at 8s. I mean, these are these are solid episodes. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, we'll have to see, again, what's going on with Season 11 for Walking Dead. Uh, the new one that's gotten pushed off until I think it was November, if I'm not mistaken. And also that little thing, Fear the Walking Dead, which I'm not exactly the greatest fan of right now, but I'm still going to watch and see where it plays out. So I hope you guys get the chance to come back out. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys at the next Walking Dead review. See you guys.